Welcome to Worlds Apart, Words Together, where best friends share laughter, stories, and an unbreakable bond. Welcome. Welcome. We are How are back. we today? <laughs> Could be better, but you know, we are here recording. So. Yeah, we are. It's It's been a rough week. Well, mostly just exhausting week for me. <laughs> been very long this week <laughs> seems to have gone on for a very long time it definitely felt like there's been two weeks in this one week at least like. at least at the very <laughs> minimum <laughs> maybe yeah. you might be able to add a little bit more to that maybe maybe the week's not over yet so <laughs> well i don't really count saturday and sunday even though i probably should i, I, I don't even Saturdays and Sundays can be tough sometimes. Yeah, but they're tough in a different way. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree with that. But welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us again. Um, mm-hmm. We already recorded next week's episode, and it's going to be a good one. Yes. So go. Definitely next week. Go. <laughs> it's a good one it it will be a good one entertaining it's all of the above it's been a good conversation um it's it's about an hour hour long episode and we could have gone on for at least another two we had to cut it yeah so it's a very entertaining episode and we hope you're gonna like it um but next week on tuesday we'll introduce our guest on our blog so if you're curious to who we're talking with go check out our our blog that we're publishing next tuesday and then next week saturday the podcast that we recorded with our special guest will be released yes i'm very excited about it me too i'm very very excited that's good do you have anything um planned for this weekend or just we have to go watch the game tomorrow yeah that's fair um other than that i really really hope not that's nice probably have to do homework and probably clean up a bit around the apartment because every week it seems like a tornado went through and i don't (laughs) with just two people um for me, that happens, and I'm only one person in my room, so. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I'm hoping it's pretty low-key. I don't know of any major plans or anything, so. I don't either. I will be doing statistics all weekend. Bro, so. I did get my schedule for my thesis. That's it's good. fast. I mean, yeah. I will defend in March. Wow. Yeah, which means I have to run all the statistics and write yeah. two chapters wow. and submit them to my committee two weeks before I defend. So it, I don't have that until I like have July. to have it done. Yeah, I have to have mine done by like first week of March. So basically, I have a month. To yeah. one staff and write two chapters. Well, then you better get started. Well, everyone tells me, oh, your stats aren't that hard. They won't take very long. So they think all my stats can be done by end of next week. And that just leaves me like three-ish weeks to write, which I already have a decent like outline for my ch- chapter so I don't think it should take me a full three weeks so okay we'll see. We'll gives see. you anything some time better, to yeah anything better than the three days I had to really <laughs> exactly so you're fine and it's this two chapters be... not three so even better there you go put me to the test man just put me to the test sounds uh easy peasy enough <laughs> 
I just don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I just I don't want to do it anymore. I mean, we're three weeks into, well, almost four at this rate. Um, yeah. Weeks into oh January. God. I mean, honestly, this has felt like a very long month. Usually the months go by way quicker. For I don't want first. them to go any faster, but I really want January to disappear. I, I have felt like we've been in January for three months now. I just don't understand. I know going finishing up last the end of last year, I was like, oh thank God, twenty twenty three is almost done. And I was just like, oh, twenty twenty four is gonna be better. I don't know why people think that, to be honest. I don't understand the psychology behind that. Of uh, nothing. There's no there's no like magic dust that's sprinkled anywhere to make no. you clean slate but you know you get the mentality of like oh that year's almost done it was a bad year you know the next year is gonna be better let me tell you well you also started it with COVID so. 26 days into 2024 and I am already going I cannot wait for this year to be done <laughs> dude I have to say though January February kind of bad months because of the one winter weather <clears throat> I feel like once it started to get spring I'm like thank god finally i just i just cannot wait until this stupid statistic course is done because literally 70 percent of the things that we're learning they're like you don't need to notice on the exam i'm like okay then i don't want to learn it right now i want to focus on what i do need to know for the exam so i can actually pass the exam so i can apply all the things that i'm learning into practice yeah so that's fun very fun. Um, but yeah, no, this this month has been a rough month. I have a question. It needs to just be considered 2023, January 2023.2. Yes, I agree. I do have a question for you. Yes. When you think about the months and you visualize like the calendar in your head. Like, how do you think about the month, months? Like, do you visualize a calendar in your head or not at all? No, I can't say I visualize anything in my head. Interesting. Yeah, I've been thinking about how other people do it. But when I look at the year, I like have this calendar in my head that goes from left to right. And like January, February, March, April, whatever. And right now we're all the way to the left in January. And then we're slowly moving further. So you like you line up all the months from left to right? In my head I do, yeah. I don't see anything in my like I genuinely don't see anything in my head. Yeah. No. I mean I'm not a very like a very visual thinker, but when it comes to the months, like I can I can visualize them in my head. But when I had to do visualization for swimming, like I was terrible at it. Some people could see themselves swim and dive and you know take strokes, and I was just like, hmm. I'm just counting down the minutes until I feel like I'm touching. Yeah, I I, I <clears throat> swimming I never could do that. I don't I don't see things in my head that way. I don't think I ever have. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. I just wonder how other people see the year. <laughs> I see it like as a month, month January and then month February. So I don't see it like day for day. I just see the month and then the month and then the month. So like you see a month in a normal calendar, like on Google calendar or whatever. And I have that little yeah. visualization in my brain. It's weird. That is very weird, but yeah, that's, that's not me. So I'm glad that you have, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> No, I just wake up and it's a day. 
and I go to sleep and I hopefully wake up the next day and it's another day. <laughs> there I you go. And then stuff. <laughs> day by day, you have a month. <laughs> then I finish the month and go, cool. And then physically flip the calendar over and okay, next month. And I go to bed and I wake up. Oh, I'm doing the same exact shit with the same exact we won't go there. And then, okay, go to bed and hopefully I'll wake up the next day. <laughs> well, that is only for another, like, four months. And then your life's going to tremendously change. So. <laughs> oh, yes. We're gonna <laughs> or not. We'll figure it out. <laughs> it will change in one way. I'm not going back to Lindenwood. That's good. Time for something new. If anyone listens who goes to Lindenwood, get the fuck out when you can. Sorry, but get out. It's not worth it. It's not, not anymore. I I really loved it when I was there. It's just has it has changed so much. It's changed. The people's changed. It's well, obviously I'm not there anymore, so it's not as I think fun. I honestly I don't know if it has changed. Or I just know more because I've been there so long now. Because like when you're an undergrad, you kind of live your know, four years in a cycle, like in your own bubble. Yeah. I mean, from what I've heard from other people, it has definitely changed the way the administry is like doing things. Oh, that's the president. True. So like, I mean, like the, the interactions between people. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like the older you get, the more you see things for who they, for what they really are. And like, if I look at a college right now, I'm like, shit, just freaking young people go there, you know? Like, look at all these freshmen being babies. Even though yeah. I was literally there six years ago. It is a big difference, and I think it also shows just how fast society changes. Changes, yeah. Because, like, the freshmen there now, I don't, I can't really speak because I don't know them personally, but they're just different than, like, yeah. us as freshmen. I mean, I'm they like, were Yo. also born, like, a few years later, and if you look like, I think freshmen right now are from, like, 2007 or something like that. Yeah, they just, their upbringing is different. And it's extremely yeah. noticeable. Like, it's extremely noticeable. Yeah, because by the time, like, I still, I grew up when, you know, smartphones were just invented. And by the time they were my age, like, iPhone whatever was already out. Yeah. Um, so it's just a lot different than we had to grow up in, which you can definitely tell by the way some people behave, but that's okay. Anyway, today I will be asking you some questions about what you have envisioned for this 2024. It started out. It might get dark. Oh my God. (laughs) (laughs) We might just not publish this episode at all. <laughs> no, no, we can't do that to people. Life is not, not fairy tales and rainbows and butterflies. No, it's not. No, but there are definitely like, yes, it started out pretty rough, um, but it doesn't mean it's going to continue to be rough. And you can still, you know, hope for good things and hope for um, nice things in this year. Like the year is long. It's only January. You've got time. One twelfth done. Exactly. So what are some things that you hope to see this year um, or reach like a goal that you really want to reach in particular? A goal? Like in just like a... Like something that you have told yourself like hey this is by the end of 2024 I want to be able to do this I want to have done this like something in that um that 2024 
I think my biggest goal is to be in a position or position is the wrong word, but be in a place in my life where I'm actually happy. Okay. And I feel that I would be I don't want to say happy to do it forever, but not hate getting up every day because there's nothing worse to me than being someone like myself who's a morning person and having that basically destroyed or taken away like that part of you because you dread what's coming next yeah and I think yeah. I my biggest goal is by the end of 2024 I want to be in a place where that doesn't happen okay I like that yeah and so that means like probably a, a job that you don't tread going to. I mean, or an environment like a place yeah, that you're in. It's like be happy with a lot of different things. Like be happy with where I'm living. Be happy with the job or career that I, I've stepped my foot into. Be happy with my. Uh, work life ratio balance, be happy with my coworkers, be happy the environment of my coworkers, be happy. Yeah. And and honestly everyone has their good days and bad days. So I'm not saying, oh, I'm never gonna have every a day, bad day. No. Obviously that's not realistic. But to get out of this literally hating to wake up every day because you yeah. know what's coming. And yeah. you know the bullshit that you have to deal with. Sorry, yeah. I'm not in the mood, so there might be a lot of swearing. So that's, <laughs> that's okay. I mean, I I've always said to people, same with Michael, whenever he's, you know, complaining about volleyball so much, and I'm like, if you don't like it, quit. If yep. you're not happy with the position that you're in, try to find something that you are happy with and like for you I know it's only like four more months and then you don't have to really go back there um so then it's like okay I know that in four months I can go on to something better but for now I have to stick it out which is yeah. fine like I'm not saying like immediately leave but just make sure that whatever you do in life just gives you enough like satisfaction to be like I like what I'm doing every day I like waking up to it or most of the days because like you said not every day can be a good day and um, but that's the thing it's like if you're in a position that generally makes you hopeful makes you happy makes you fulfilled whatever fancy word you want to use those bad days won't take the same toll on you no like you'll be able to move past them better and more efficiently with less negative effects on your body or in your yeah. mind Whatever. or just yeah your mindset but if you yeah. constantly wake up to an environment where you're like oh my god not this shit again like the same with me and my statistics right now I'm like oh my god I have to do another weekend of stats but I'm like it's only two more weeks in two weeks I have exams and then I don't have to do it anymore it's like yeah it sucks right now but also it's only so temporarily that it doesn't really matter it's part of the degree that I want to do so I'm gonna have to do it yeah so yeah I I like that goal um yeah and is there like any specific um thing that you hope like that you know will progress in 2024 or just something that you hope to achieve at some point hopefully, besides obviously, like obviously I want to achieve graduation because <laughs> otherwise it was well sport. that's good <laughs> um, but it's, it's something I think 
achieving. I really, I think what it comes down to is I've spent the last, what, seven years? Has it been seven years since I started freshman year of college? Yeah, eight, something like that. Eight, eight years, eight, I think. Eight. eight. Going for nine. Um, I spent that whole time. Yes, I swam, but I was never one of those only athlete, never student. Like, I mean, there's a reason my GPA is the way it, lo the way it is. Um, and I spent my whole, basically, essentially last decade so focused on achieving the next step, achieving the next goal, achieving, always weighing every decision on, is this going to benefit me in the future? Yeah. And a lot of that revolves around your career because well, that's why you're going to school, right? You're going to school right. to your career. The, then the other side of it was you're going to the, the athlete side, which finished. And so then you're only left to focus on a career, but mm -hmm. it's kind of just now you graduate or, or hopefully you graduate in my case in May, which is probably the biggest. Pretty soon. I don't want to say goal, but the big one of the probably the biggest stepping stone of 2024 as I see it mm -hmm. right now. But then it's like, what now? What you have all these goals. You had the goals to get through school for a career. You had the goals in swimming or athletics. But you, now you're at a point where you literally just look at May and you're like, that's a cliff. Because what you have gonna no do? idea what you want, what makes you happy. Good questions change from what time do I want to go or what class should I take to what makes me happy and you go <laughs> I don't know or who am I what do I want to do uh, guess what those yeah. questions are never thrown at you yeah in and such a way that it we is were now. also just talking about it before we really started recording that in this day and age it makes it a lot more difficult because we have so many options and so many basically open doors routes that we can take. I was telling you before this, um, back in the day, you lived in this one town in this, you know, place on earth where you were born. You had to do the job that was available and you lived through day by day. But now we have air travel. You can go to different countries. You can get work visas, whatever. So you have so many more opportunities to do what you want, which makes it a lot harder to really know what you want. Yeah. So I think it's... That, that's part of it. And I think it's also, you get fed this thing from, you know, especially when you enter college, um, if you're someone who takes academics more seriously is don't pigeonhole yourself. Don't focus on just one thing. Keep your options open. Well, yeah. I've run into the problem as my options are so wide open. <laughs> I don't know which direction to look. Yeah, it's literally too overwhelming. Like, I understand people who, you know, don't pigeonhole yourself and, you know, only be educated or trained in one thing and one thing only because what if you yeah. can't find a job in that which is fair but the other extreme which is where I'm sitting is very real as you don't know yeah what you want it's like and you, you gotta know, maybe, that middle maybe for someone like you it's just like I'm gonna apply to jobs that sound interesting to me that might you know be something that I like and then from there you kind of figure out like oh this is what I like this is what I don't like and you kind of work your way through that career path yeah I mean obviously there's different ways but I think when it comes to those who've had or going through higher education you're not prepared whatsoever for the cliff that approaches when graduation occurs. No, not at all. I think more times than not, like obviously you do have those people who come out of undergrad and they just think like they're going to go to PT school, no matter what, they're going to go to medical school, no matter what. 
Okay. And you're going to become a dentist. You've got those people. Yeah, you have those people. But in yeah. general. More, more than not, not, people are like you or they're like, I have so many options. I just don't know which direction to go into. Yeah. Like, look at my sister. She's doing something completely different than what she did. She started her school in like sports science, kind of what you're doing. Then she did a master's in educational sciences, became a teacher for three, two years. And now she's working as like a training designer for the Air Force. So it's like she started out because she was interested in sports and now she's with the Air Force. It's like, how does that work? Um, but she was like you she was like I I don't know really what I want to do at this point this sounds interesting to me and we're just gonna see where that takes me whereas you always had a clear idea of what you wanted until a few years ago when it kind of switched to what you're doing now yeah because when I first met you you always wanted to to do aerospace physiology which I mean, it's still like that's the thing. It's like what I'm doing now. I can still do that. It's just one of many doors. Um, Which is that something you still want to look into? I don't know. Honestly, I think I have. I've got to a point where I've potentially. Ooh, that was very loud email notification. Um, <laughs> I don't find anything interesting anymore. Like, oh. absolutely nothing. Because I think what's happened is I've worked all through school, multiple, like, jobs. Mm-hmm. And then I swam, and then I did classes. And to the point where I'm like, I don't want to do anything. Yeah. I but that's also why I think taking a few months off, going back to Australia might be a good thing it might gives you some time to relax just yeah. live your life do do I something I don't have anyone back there other than my family yeah. yeah I don't have friends to go hang out with I don't have people I want well, to well then what if you do that somewhere else like somewhere in the United States Oh, I'm leaving Missouri. I will not stay here. Yeah, because I do think, you know, it might, it, it just might be a good thing to be like, not putting the pressure on like, I need to find a career right now, but I need to just. I am to the point where I'm questioning if I want a career. Exactly. And but... maybe not going into one right away will give you more clarity and well, this is what I want. I don't want a career or I do want to start a career, but in this field, like, you know, it could give you some, some clarity in, in your head. Maybe. Yeah, but see, the world, the world revolves around money, no matter what, I have to have a job. I can't just well, then sit Why, why don't you go travel for a few months? Like Kyle said. What money? He said, you don't need money to travel. <laughs> you can you can go to you can buy a flight to um Thailand. that involves money well but money for a flight is different than money for like a house and a car oh, money. yeah so but let's say you still. you buy a flight to Thailand and you just start like working little jobs there and it's, you know I just hate being at this stage in life and I think this stage in life gets it's the one stage in life that's progressively gotten worse generation after generation and people don't realize yeah because generation after generations there's more and more options more and more fields are being explored more more expectation there's more and more well that but also like the forensic field for example has expanded tremendously Mm -hmm. if you just look at the website of the government with how many job openings there are like it's ridiculous yeah but But then all the it it is but there's no people because everybody these days wants to work online and 
get a remote job and, you know, do all that bullshit. Um, but then if you look at those jobs, it's like, we require three years of experience within this field. And I'm like, well, how are you supposed to get that? Because that is a thing about education. Education is great, but education prevents you from getting the experience you need to actually work in that field. Yep. Because there's no room around education to really work the field that you want to do. Yeah, there, there's, it's college or higher education is a call to keep you in higher education. More yeah. times than not, you're not given the legs to stand on to make it in the applied areas. Yeah, so it's, it actually is a lot better if you start out in that field that you want to do in a very low level job and then work your way up get school paid by them and it's yeah I don't know because that's what I'm right now I'm like well I should be qualified enough to work those jobs after I graduate but then the problem is all those jobs want me to have x amount of years in experience and like well where should I've gotten that I've been to school for six years to get here yes so just very double-sided yeah I don't know where that comes from I don't know where that kind of and then another thing that I'm very icky about is that here a lot of internships are for students only so mm -hmm. you'd have to be enrolled in in a school to be able to do that internship it's like why don't you open it up to the public where if you are like a fresh graduate that you can get an internship and then work your way through there yeah like because i don't nobody has time during the actual school year to do an internship on the side well, that's the thing. It's like maybe they don't open up to the public, but say, are you two, one to five years post graduation looking for an internship? They don't know. Do you all have to be enrolled in a school? I know, I know, but I'm saying that would help even if they had student and or this, like have that yeah. offer. It yeah, it totally. Yeah. So I don't know. It's just a big mess everywhere. Yeah, I have no, no, no words or reasoning other than it just sucks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and with that. <laughs> and with that, welcome to today's TED Talk rant of how much we hate society in the 20s. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are moments where I'm like, this is great. I love it. And then there's moments where I'm like, fuck. Ugh, so frustrating. I haven't had one of these, like one of those, like, oh, this is great. And <laughs> probably several years. Like, I mean, years. We we had some good moments. That's probably the last time. Yeah. <laughs> 2021? 2022. Okay, 2022? Yeah. So it's That's been two years. 18 months of like. Ever since I started what? grad school. Ever since I started grad school. Yeah. Like, if you think about no, no, it. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ever since I left. And that's just correlated. <laughs> that, that's just coincidence. No, no, no. It's cause and relation for sure. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Damn. No. But 2024 is long and we're only in January, so a lot can happen. And the people who listen to this episode, it's it's been a rough episode for sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> but life isn't only a great. lot. It isn't, we're but a good. lot can also a lot can happen in a few months. So maybe in May or in June, we're gonna be like, dude, this is freaking awesome we've got our shit figured out who knows 
who knows i know it's hard yeah. to believe right now let me know when you get there <laughs> i will i will you'll be the first one to know <laughs> no but that's the thing like things can change from one day one day to the next so we're gonna try to not stay stuck in this mindset of like no, I mean, it's, just, it's just one of those things where you start off the new year sick and you are still sick three weeks later and yeah you're forcing yourself into environments that you know are hurting you yeah you stop and that's kind of like where i am today and i know that's just where i am today and yeah like just... before it's it just started like there's a lot of monsters yeah days there's a lot of hours I there's a lot of milestones that are going to be met and there's going to be hopefully doors that open and opportunities that open after those milestones For so sure. it's not like all oh, doom and gloom but in the split <laughs> no minutes, that's but I can I can imagine that when you're at the end of 2023 and you're like 2024 new start fresh year whatever and then you start off sick and it's just a shitty environment and it's just like oh my god we're still in this bullshit but better months are ahead and yeah we're, we're just gonna see big um, things coming so we focus on the positive and the big things exactly so i want to thank everybody one person who listens to our podcast every week for that joining person. that one person please. please that one person please thank you for <laughs> joining that too thank you for joining us as, as we offer a glimpse into our everyday life and into the world of true friendship where even though worlds may seem apart the connection remains strong so i want to thank you for joining and i know it's been a rough one but we got this so <laughs> Until next week, that'll be a fun one. And next week will be fun. It will be. So until then, bye-bye. Bye.